Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to go over files and folder sharing in OneDrive, how to configure it, how to share files and folder to other people, to your friends, to people outside of your organizations. Now let's get started. I'm going to mind this screen. So once you log into OneDrive, I have OneDrive here. Once you, you can go to files and under files, you can share. Just say you want to share this folder, right? So you just click on the folder and then click on share. Right here, you can share with anybody. Um, just all you have to do is just enter the email address. And there's options here. You can choose these options. Anyone with the link, can edit the files, or or you can or you can choose people in or in your organizations or people with the existing access or specific people. So I'm going to choose anyone with the link. They can edit the files uh, and if you don't want them to 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 have access to edit the files you can just check the, uncheck this box if you do that they won't have access to uh, modify the files so again you can just click on any folders and then and then at the top here it's just you have to choose one folder at a time and just click on share that's one of the uh, way to share, or you can go right into the desktop, uh, the uh, the folder and choose the files to share. Click on the file and then go to share. So now let's. I'm going to share this folder. Click on share. I'm going to share it with. I'm going to give them added access. Also, let me enter the mail address. It's going to be Matthew man 2015 at gmail.com. And I click send. So this person will receive an email say the OneDrive file has been shared. And if I want to share the folder, let's go back to the root and click on the folder and then share. email.com click on send so now the folder has been shared as well all right so now let's go back to the top here and click on share under this columns you see or this tab you see there's a share with me or share by me so you will see any files or folder that is share with you and this one here is share by you so here just saying that I share this folder and this files with somebody click on see details So item is a guest access. You can manage guest. You can manage this access by clicking on the manage here, or you can just if you want to stop sharing, all you have to do is just click on stop sharing. Or you can set the expiration date. When do you want this files to stop sharing? 
just say you want to stop sharing two days from now just choose the date and click on save or you can also copy the full URL here and paste it into the email if you want to send it to somebody else under grant access you can enter the email address or you can give them just edit view edit or view only there's two options available let's go back to the, uh, the document folders again if you click on this three ellipses it gives you share again manage copy link details let's go to manage access Here it is again direct access if I click on details let's see what it gives me click on manage access oops if I go to the file here click on details stop sharing so the stop sharing it only works when you have individual files it does not work if you share the whole folder there's no options to stop sharing Let's see here manage access oh there is sorry about that there's a stop sharing here so you can stop sharing right away and let's go back to, let's go to the email of the recipient so as you can see here this user received an email that the file has been shared all you have to do is just click on the link open file And there is the file. That's it. That's that's uh, that's that will cover all the sharings for OneDrive. And if you have any questions, um, any comments, please feel free to put in the comment sections. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, my my YouTube channels will cover anything related to Office 365. Configuration Manager, SCCM, Windows Deployment, Applications Deployment. Thank you and have a good day.